Okay, in this tutorial, I'm gonna run through how to take a Final Cut Pro 10 project, so your edits, everything, and then move it to another Mac, okay? We're gonna move it to another external hard drive, but then from that hard drive, you'll be able to plug it in and work on a, on a separate Mac, okay? So there's a couple of steps to go through when you're doing this, okay? Now, if you're like me, you may well have saved the clips that you've brought into Final Cut Pro into a separate location, but not actually wrap them up into the library. So we need to kind of consider that when we're bringing things together. I'll often take things like screenshots on my Mac and then drag them into Final Cut Pro and they won't necessarily be in the folder in the library with my video project. So we're going to have a look at how to consolidate that. So the first thing we're going to do is make a duplicate of our library, okay, and the projects we want to copy. So we're going to grab all these projects that I have listed down here, okay. So the projects have the little clapperboard on them. And we've got 11 edits that we're going to save here. Okay, so we've selected all those and then now we're going to go to file and copy projects to library. Okay, and we're going to make a brand new library on an external drive that we're then going to be able to take to a new computer. Okay, so this is the first step. So we're going to go to the Mac here and we're going to go to this external hard drive. Okay, and we're going to save the library in here and we'll call it tutorial project. So we'll save that off now. So now we're going to get an option to, to copy the optimized media and the proxy media. We don't actually need that. So just to save a little bit of time here, I'm going to leave those unchecked. Okay. Um, the proxy media can be regenerated and any optimized media can be regenerated as well. Okay. If you've got a big edit and you've transcoded a lot of footage to proxy media, it can take time. So I recommend that you normally do check this box and copy it, but here I'm going to leave this unchecked. So we'll click okay. And then Final Cut is going to wrap up those new projects in our new library. Okay, so once our projects have been wrapped up into our new library, you can see the list of them here. We can also see the list of our original clips. Now, if we just check out where these are, the original clips, we can right click on one of them and go to Reveal in Finder. Okay, and we can see straight away that this clip hasn't been moved to our new library. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to grab these clips so that we've got everything wrapped up in this new library project. Okay, and we can kind of tell that um, not everything is wrapped up in the new library that we've created here on the external drive because it's only 42 megabytes in size. Okay, so that's not nearly enough size for an edit and all the original video that comes with those edits as well. So we're going to go back to Final Cut. Okay, and we're going to click on the, the library and then we're going to go to File, Consolidate Library Files. Okay, so basically what it's saying here is original media is going to be consolidated into the library tutorial project. So that's all the original video that is used in these edits. Okay, and the second section here, and there are two sections to this, deals with the optimized media and the proxy media that we were talking about before. Now I'm going to uncheck these again because I just want to consolidate the original media. Okay, so we're not going to consolidate the proxy media or the optimized media. But as I mentioned before, if you are dealing with big projects, then you need to figure out the balance of how much space you've got on your drive against how long it's going to take to actually copy those files. But often it's worth copying the proxy media files because they can take a long time to generate if you are using proxy media. Okay, so is to uncheck for the moment, we'll click OK, and now those files are going to begin to copy across. So if we come down to the middle of Final Cut Pro here and just click here, we can see that under the media management option here, we're consolidating library files. And so our library files are now copying. Okay, and we'll be able to see that because if we come to our tutorial project, we can see that the file size is growing. Okay, so it was 40 something megabytes before. Now it's 59.6 and it's going to keep going up as we copy the rest of those files. Okay, so once our media management has finished, then we can check out our library file on our hard drive and you can see that our file has gone from 40 odd megabytes to a couple of gigabytes. Okay, so basically Final Cut Pro has gathered all the media from that project and dropped it into this library bundle. Okay, now if you're like me, you'll want to check that everything is there before you rely on taking that and then working on it somewhere else. Okay, so what we want to look at is what's actually in our project. So we know we've got it open that all the timelines are there. Those are saved actually in the library file in the project. So we can rely on those being there. But the media that we've moved how can we actually look at and see that these video files and these images and audio are actually in that folder? Okay, so the way that we do that is by right clicking on the tutorial project here or on your own library file and go to show package contents. Okay, and if we jump into this first folder here, we'll see 
a folder called original media. Okay, and in here we should see a list of all of our video files, okay, as they're listed here. Okay, so if I just select all these, I have 14 files, and I can see quickly here that I have 14 items in that folder wrapped up in that library. Okay, so now this project is ready to take and work on another computer. So now we can go into Final Cut Pro, we can close the library. So if you right click here, you can close a library and then we can eject our drive and take it to work on another computer. Okay, so that's also a way of ejecting a drive. If you've had a library open in Final Cut Pro, you need to close that library before you try and eject it. Otherwise, as you eject, you may get the warning that there is an application using the files on this, this drive, okay? I hope this has been useful. This is a way of getting your library, your project, your edits from one computer to another via an external drive. And if you have any questions about this, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.